Oh, hey guys, uh, Christian Bollet here. Uh, I was at a wedding tonight, so please, please forgive me if uh, if I'm a little off my rockers here. I I was dancing and singing the night away. You'll be able to hear that in my voice as the night goes on. But the Avs win the game six to two. They score five unanswered goals in the third period to win the game six to two. They take a two one series lead in the best of seven series against the Winnipeg Jets. And I'm just going to say it. I'm going to say it. I don't know if this is a hot take or not, but the Avs are the better team. They are better than the Winnipeg Jets. Without a doubt, they are better than the Winnipeg Jets. And that's not saying the Avs are going to win this series. I'm not saying that. The Jets could very well come and come back and win this series in six games. They very well could. But all I'm saying is the Avs, when they are playing this way, no team in the NHL can beat them. None. No, no team can beat them. The Avs just need competent goaltending. That's all they need is competent goaltending. And they got it again tonight from Alexander Georgiev. And they scored five goals on Connor Hellbuck once again. Connor Hellbuck is the best goaltender on planet Earth right now. And the Avs scored five times on him once again. The Avs can win this series. They very well should win this series. But you just have to keep going. They're getting production from everyone. And... That's a very scary thought to think about. Uh, this game gets started. Zach Parisi scores. Beautiful pass by Casey Middlestat. Gives the Avs a 1-0 lead. Hellbuck had been great up to that point. The Avs give up. Uh, the, or excuse me, the Jets give up the first goal to the Avs. And the Avs take a 1-0 lead. And the Jets would respond with two goals in the second period. The first one from Georgiev, you can say you don't love. I mean, he it's just a weird bounce, and Toffoli beats him uh, before he can get to his post. They tie the game at one, and then on the power play, the Jets from Josh Morrissey score from distance to take a 2-1 lead, and the Jets were the better team in the second period. Let's just be honest. The Jets were the better team. But then the third period, before we get to the third period, Alexander Georgiev makes a massive, massive save on Tyler Toffoli to keep this game at a 2-1 game. Georgiev has been great. Ever since that first game, he's been phenomenal. He's looked really good, and hopefully this is just a confidence boost for him, and he can keep doing this throughout the rest of the playoffs, or however long the Avs' playoffs run is. Uh, we go into the third period. Uh, the Jets just started taking really dumb penalties. Like You can be mad all you want if you're a Winnipeg Jets fan. All four of the penalties against them were the refs have to call them. Mason Appleton trips Miles Wood. The Avs get a power play. Nathan McKinnon scores from the blue line to tie the game at two. Then Gabe Velarde just whacks Devon Taves in the face, gets blood. That's a double minor penalty. That's simply, it's just a double minor. The Avs get a four minute power play and they don't score on the first half of it. On the second half of it, Nathan McKinnon and Mika Rantanen combine uh, some beautiful passes to get it across to Valeri Nachushkin, who scores to give the Avs a three to two lead. Jets fans can bitch all they want. They can bitch all they want. Those were blatant penalties. You have to call them. You have to call them. And in the blink of an eye, the Avs have a 3-2 to two lead. The Avs would survive a little bit of a flurry from the Winnipeg Jets. And Casey Middlestat, man. Casey Middlestat was so damn good. He's been so damn good all series. Three points in this game. Makes a beautiful, beautiful pass to Arturi Lekkanen. Scores. Gives the Avs a 4-2 lead. And the Jets would then take another penalty. Jack Johnson gets pulled down. It's a trip. You have to call it. And then Neil Pionk just decides to shoot the puck. Over the glass, gives the Avs a five on three. And I know the power play technically expired, but Casey Millstat makes a great pass. Ross Colton deflects it in, gives the Avs a five to two lead. Devontae's would get the empty net goal, gives the Avs a six two victory. And I'm telling you guys, this team is good. When they play like this, they are a very, very hard team to beat. And I'm just really happy with how this game went. And Griffin and I are going to go record the Teledabs Diz podcast. It'll be released later tonight, so make sure you check it out. Um, the abs are back, baby. The abs are all the way back, and I cannot wait for Sunday. But until then, let's go abs, baby.